Hi, Assalamu Alaikum. I'm a Dr. Baek in Korea. I'm a breast surgeon. Today, I told you about breast cancer. Okay, this is my title, Current Status of Asian Breast Cancer. I mean, in Korea, perhaps Arab is a UA also almost the same. And uh, I'll give you a new technology of the oncoplastic surgery. Oncoplastic means the beautiful surgery for the breast cancer. First of all, I will tell you about breast cancer risk factors. Obesity, this obese, high weight gain makes a risk factor. And the no exercise, that means low physical activity is a risk factor. No breastfeeding. Breastfeeding period is longer than breast cancer incidence decreased. Alcohol abuse is one of factor and the hormonal replacement therapy. This means after menopause of the woman, they sometimes take a hormonal medicine, but this hormone makes a high risk and the birth control pills. Before the 25, if someone takes much more, the oral pill is a risk factor for breast cancer. And most important thing is not having children. That means the more the pregnancy, the less breast cancer. And the high fat, high calorie diet can be a risk factor for breast cancer. This slide shows, depends on the consumption of high fat, high calorie diet, the breast cancer increase. That means the OECD countries makes a higher incidence of the breast cancer. That means the underdeveloped country has a low breast cancer incidence and um, the higher the income country, I mean OECD country, makes a high incidence of breast cancer. If you uh, get the high fat, high calorie diet, then you become heavyweight. That means, uh, but two types of the body figure. This even if the same the uh, weight, body weight, this means uh, this uh, we call the apple shape. Uh, this shape is a pear shape. That means this apple shape has a upper part is uh, more heavier, but pear type is a lower part is more heavier. But this this type of body figure is uh, no increased breast cancer. But this, I mean apple time, has a high incidence of breast cancer and uh, heart disease and also diabetes mellitus. So depends on the body figure, the, we can guess. We can guess what kind of disease will be a disease. What kind of disease will you get? Well, this is uh, actually the Korean breast cancer instance. Korea actually recently is uh, one of OECD country becomes, uh, but in the past we are very poor. But recently we became an OECD country, so this uh, means the total breast cancer incidence rapidly increasing annually 6.1%. And this yellow curve is uh, DCI, I mean stage zero breast cancer. This means stage zero breast cancer increasing means early detection. Where in Korea, government uh, gave us a favor for the, the uh, some check up the, their health especially over 40, every two years, the government 
check the woman's uh, health without pay. That is very important. So early detection we can easily. This is a very Korean in the past, about just 10, 10 years ago, breast cancer is a in, very relatively low incidence, but recently about four times increase. Well, this is chronological trend, the age distribution pattern. Perhaps you can see that this is, uh, we follow many years every two years to check up the what age group is a, will be a peak for the breast cancer. For example, this is um, uh, where 2000, 2002, 4, like this. But the breast cancer peak incidence is almost the same. This age is uh, late 40s and early 50s. But this pattern is a little bit different from the Caucasian, where this is Caucasian, American, I mean. American is, uh, depends on the age, uh, more incidence, higher incidence. The orange color is Korean, the blue color is uh, uh, Japanese. That means, uh, well, anyway, Japan is a little bit higher economic status than that of Korea. Anyway, Korea, at least the Japanese follow the American, and the Korean follows Japan, and also at least in future will follow the American. That means almost the same phenomena. That means. Now, until now, the Korean breast cancer peak age group is late 40s and early 50s. But for example, 30 years later, they're almost the same, the pattern. Well, this is, is uh, you can see the 40s, the most common age group, followed by 50s, followed by 60s, and then as artists. This is a little bit different from that uh, American, I mean, Caucasian. Well, this is, uh, this is a histogram. In the past in Korea, the blue one is premenopausal patient. Yeah, married is um, postmenopausal woman. That means in the past, in Korea, in Korea, premenopausal woman cancer is higher than the postmenopausal woman, but recently a little bit changed. The uh, postmenopausal woman is breast cancer instance is higher than the premenopausal woman. This is a Caucasian style. That means uh, the disease and culture, any kind of the social phenomena follow follows the developed country, I mean, OECD country. So we, we can also be almost the same phenomena. Uh, thanks to the early detection, we have uh, the most common stage group, stage one is most common, followed by stage two, and then stage zero and then stage three. When I was a young doctor, when I was uh, pre the, the residentship, in Korea almost all breast cancer is stage three and or four. But already I told you, uh, according, uh, thanks to the government strategy, uh, and we have uh, early detection chance. So like this, Stage one is most common, followed by stage two, followed by stage zero. And so recently, we almost we cannot find out the stage four. Well, this uh, this is a histogram. The, this uh, blue one is a stage zero. This uh, this one stage one, stage two. 
uh, already I told you stage 1 is most common followed by stage 2 and then stage 0. Uh, recently, the surgical pattern is quite changed. Perhaps as you know, the, uh, in 1984, Dr. Hurstead in America, he succeeded uh, the breast cancer treatment with uh, operation. At that time, he removed the total breasts. That means radical mastectomy. But recently, in Korea, in Korea, most common surgical type is uh, breast conserving surgery, breast conserving surgery, and followed by uh, mastectomy. This breast cons conserving surgery has uh, many good uh, effects. When I was a young resident, at that time, almost all breast cancer underwent a mastectomy. That means totally removed breast. Then the patient and uh, distressed, disappointed their figure, and they addressed sometimes. Sometimes the patients uh, commit suicide, and some patients and make a divorce sometimes quit the job and go to the mountain. But recently, after this vicious uh, breast conserving surgery, and no, almost nobody, like, um, they, for example, commit suicide, no. They quit the job, no. Don't go to the mountain. Well, this is a pattern of surgical pattern. Uh, yellow one, the uh, pink one is uh, actually the uh, uh, in the past lower than the mastectomy, but recently increasing. That means uh, already I told you breast conserve, conserving surgery. Uh, I did. I started breast conserving surgery in 1986 here. Now. The mastectomy and the breast conserving surgery cross over at 2006. That means when I started 1986, the breast conserving surgery in Korea, on, in Asia, uh, nobody believed that breast conserving surgery will not save. But recently, they agreed and increasing the breast conserving surgery. Almost the 67% uh, recently, 70% uh, in our hospital, about 75% uh, breast cancer underwent breast conserving surgery. That means uh, the breast cancer patient quality of life is much improved. That means uh, in terms of the cosmetic effect, but also the psychological effect. Well, this is uh, the uh, Caucasian and the Asian almost the same. The most uh, common histologic type is uh, invasive ductal carcinoma. And um, ductal carcinoma insight. Insight means stage zero. And the rarely the lobular carcinoma insight and the very, very rare malignant phyllodes tumor pesit disease. This is very, very low. So, breast cancer has an as characteristic biologic markers where if the uh, patient bear the victim of the cancer, then usually the surgery and the chemotherapy, radiation therapy, immunotherapy, and so on. But one of the very characteristic factor in breast cancer it's a hormone-dependent case is almost 75%. The estrogen receptor positive, progesterone receptor positive. It's a, if this the receptor positive, we can treat the breast cancer patient with hormonal therapy. And the, the CRB2 is a, one of the factors of the target therapy. If this CRB2 positive, 
then breast cancer prognosis is not so good in the past. Perhaps in the past, the worst, worst pattern. But recently, we have a specific uh, agent, target therapy agent, uh, the Herceptin. Herceptin, we have recently we treated the patient in case of the cell with positive. If the, um, the, we classify the three kinds, weak, weak and intermediate and strong positive. In this case, we treated uh, Herceptin, then the prognosis became a very good result. And also, the, uh, another very important uh, biologic marker is KI67. This means um, actually uh, this hormonal receptor, hormonal receptor, this is a target therapy, but this is uh, the uh, proportion of the tumor growth fraction. If higher the growth fraction, then bad prognosis. If lower the growth fraction, that means a, a good result, good prognosis. So it depends on the, this K67, we treat the, the patient with, a, uh, depends on the, this uh, K60 level. So many factors so for the after surgery, hormone positivity, cerebral positivity, and the K60 percentage. So, so called the uh, uh, precision medicine. In precision medicine also uh, include the genetic factor also. We have uh, some, the, uh, abnormal, if there is an abnormal gene, we can remove remove the, the bad genes with uh, CRISPR-19. Uh, Perhaps you know, this year, the Nobel Prize Award is uh, uh, CRISPR-19. So it means there's abnormal gene seizures. So two doctors have a uh, Nobel Award laureate. Well, recently anyway, like this, breast cancer mortality is uh, decreasing. Incidence is increasing, but mortality rate is decreasing due to the first, uh, first of all, most important thing is earlier detection with a mammography, sonography, or a gamma specific camera, or MRI. And um, also, the surgical technique improvement, hormonal therapy improvement, chemotherapy improvement. Uh, perhaps you know chemotherapy. With the chemotherapy, you lose the hair loss. You lose hair. And some abdominal pain and the white blood cell decreasing and um, fever like this. But anyway, with the total uh, treat modality we combined and uh, we treat the patient the personal uh, treatment so effective is higher side effective is decreasing and after surgery and the chemotherapy or uh, during the uh, treatment it's better to take a complementary therapy the most important, one of the important complement therapy is uh, uh, diet. Diet is most important, especially for breast cancer treatment. We are in Korea. I'm very proud of a Korean breast cancer society activity because in Korea, the Five years survival of the breast cancer actually more than 90%, more than. And the 10 years survival almost, uh, almost the 85%. This uh, treatment result is uh, almost top of the world. So many American, European, and the Asian countries visit uh, Korea in our hospital.
also. The Korean virus cancer characteristics and the good news, already I told you, stage uh, 1 to 0 is higher. And also with this early detection, the proportion of the breast conserving surgery is higher. And recently, I do also many Korean the breast surgeon uh, immediate reconstruction after mastectomy. That means simultaneously we do the breast cancer removal and also cosmetic surgery also. So the woman cancer, take breast cancer quality of life much, much improved. And all I told you, good overall survival rate in most stages, five years, 10 years survival, already I told you more than 90%, almost 85% respectively. But bad, bad news, the uh, annual increase in the number of breast cancer patients, about 6.1%. Actually, Caucasian in, in America, Anyway, the most common uh, woman cancer is breast, and uh, they already very high, about three times than that of a Korean breast cancer incidence. But increasingly, it's about uh, less than two percent annual increase. But Korea, in belong now belong to the OECD country, but still uh, developing in terms of uh, economic status. So still rapidly increasing, but someday almost the same as that of the American. And um, this is one of better news, is higher proportion of the young age group. I mean, I mean less than 40s. Uh, this is uh, actually the three times higher than that of American young woman. I mean, Total breast cancer incidence is uh, higher in America, but young age group is uh, higher in Korea. Uh, because it's not only Korea, Asian breasts is uh, relatively small and the compact uh, breast tissue, that very thick uh, parenchyme breast. So, the, uh, if you check the mammography, then the relatively uh, the great white color. But in American or Caucasian, it's a very big breast, but with the mammography, we can find out the breast cancer uh, commonly. But Korean, Asian is a small and dense, so we cannot easily find out breast cancer. So we check the breast uh, with uh, sonography also. So two kinds is necessary. Your country also, the, of course, it looks like uh, we are uh, Caucasian, but anyway, breast sonography and the mammography is uh, necessary. Actually, the, uh, it's uh, my personal opinion from the Arabic woman uh, visited me, I mean, in Iwa Women's University uh, Cancer Center. Uh, I do myself uh, more than 250 patients uh, treat the breast cancer from uh, your country and some near the your country Arabic woman. As a conclusion, uh, this is the current status of Korean breast cancer, but this is Asian, same, uh, and your country also. Annual increase 6.1%. So, so, anyway, the most common woman cancer all over the world is uh, the breast cancer, most, the most common. Underdeveloped countries, the most common breast cancer, uh, most common woman's cancer is uh, Uterine cervical cancer, but overall, uh, I mean, including OECD country, uh, the most common woman cancer is breast cancer. 
perhaps you know, the, uh, we have two kinds of cancer. One is uh, like breast cancer, it's a solid mass. Another one is a leukemia, very circulating cancer cell. But anyway, if uh, the tumor solid, breast and colorectal liver, anyway, surgery is most important. But breast cancer is uh, removal of the cancer is uh, also important, but because the, the victim is a woman, so we have to, we have to the, consider the beauty, I mean, the cosmetic effect, also psychological effect. But historically, already I told you, 1894, the Dr. Hurstead and Johns Hopkins succeeded breast cancer treatment with uh, this radical mastectomy. This means uh, uh, remove breasts and the remove under the breast is the pectoris major minor and also x-ray dissection also. But thereafter, after the uh, modified radical mastectomy is mo most popular. This radical mastectomy uh, prevailed uh, about 70 years. But after chemotherapeutic agent, modified radical mastectomy is much popular. But recently, uh, the breast, uh, breast conserving surgery is popular. Actually, the, the pioneer of the breast conserving surgery is Dr. Veronese. He worked at Idri uh, uh, Cancer Center Hospital. Near the, uh, the, uh, uh, he reported the, the, this result at the New England Journal of Medicine, and then I visit his, his uh, hospital, and uh, I learned his technique. At the time, I thought his, his concept is right. So I started the breast conserving surgery in 1986. At that time, my teacher, my colleague, they brand of me, brand of me, because at that time it's a modified radical mastectomy is more popular. But I think at that time I believe that breast cancer, uh, breast conserving surgery is almost same in terms of the recurrence or survival. So I continued. So. Already I told you, in uh, about 20, uh, uh, 20 years later, the Korean breast surgeons follow me. At first, many uh, the doctors, my, even my teacher, uh, blame of me, but I continue this uh, technique. So now, any, anyway, this breast conserving surgery, not only in Korea, but also all over the world, is uh, they accept it. It's uh, much improved. Thereafter, uh, it, this is a mo radical mastectomy, modified radical mastectomy, breast conserving surgery, much improved surgical technique, but recently also oncoplastic surgery, more improved, more beautiful to prevent the uh, commit suicide and so on. So, so-called oncoplastic surgical conception uh, was uh, uh, by the Dr. Audrey, the German doctor. I met him and recently already told you the simultaneous reconstruction of the breast. And this is also the another technique of the, the to prevent operation complication, uh, sentinel the bias. Uh, this is several kinds. One is at first blue dye technique, and also red dye stop technique, listen tree IC technique. I follow. I I like uh, red dye technique. This is the famous Giuliano and Dr. Craig. 
So anyway, the result of breast cancer treatment is very high. So not only tumor removal, but also have to uh, cosmetic uh, effect also because the victim is a woman. So the not only cosmetic effect, but also psychological effect is cosmetic effect very, very important. If the rate of local country is the same, then beautiful appearance is so very important. Like this, Dr. Arshid, 1894, like this, totally remove breast and also under the breast, pectoris major minor muscle removed and the x-ray dissection was uh, already done. With this, with this is arm edema and the function is not good. Range of motion is limited. So, and sometimes tilting the body figure. With this normal breast side the tilting. So thereafter, and uh, this is a modified radical mastectomy. And then much improved, much improved. With, uh, with this, and we treat the patient with uh, hormonal therapy or the chemotherapy or radiation therapy or the many kinds, immunotherapy also. Much better. If you have the, uh, some make uh, some uh, shadow breast insert the, into the bridge, then almost the same. This is uh, actually Veronese, 1981. He started. I followed him in uh, 1986. At that time, American breast surgeon uh, didn't follow like this treatment, but much more uh, a good effect in terms of a cosmetic also, a psychological effect. So like this, if we are the breast, the bridge, then almost the same. This line is a radiation uh, area. It's a Giuliano Sentinel load. Uh, Dr. Bernardini, Berunese, uh, he started the breast conserving surgery, but routinely x-ray dissection. But recently, uh, just uh, uh, we find out the sentinel load only with a very small incision. Then, arm edema or some numbness it could, is much improved. So, I gave a lecture many, many countries about uh, new technology of oncoplastic surgery for breast cancer. Not only in Korea, not only in Asia, uh, go to the, also the uh, Arab, in your country I visited also, and uh, Europe, um, Hungary and America, and Canada, Norway, and London. I gave a lecture about the new technology of oncoplastic surgery. Uh, this is a uh, uh, stop proof. With this, is we can find out only positive, possible positive lymph node. We can find that very easily. It's a very, very good facility. It's a small, but very expensive. About. Um, 40,000, 40,000 US dollar. And then we should pick up, pick up the lymph node and then the sample lymph node they sent to the pathologic division and the weight, the result. And this is the main lesion. If this uh, cavity is very high, this incision is small, but under remove the area high, then uh, after suture here, the sunken, so prevent. In the past, I used like this uh, mesh and inter uh, covered interseed, interseed. Then like this, the uh, insert this one, 
and the suture depends on the node positivity and suture then looks so good in three or uh, well years anyway two or three years looks uh, disappear this uh, scar also but recently much more developed one this is uh, actually the acellular dermal matrix this is uh, from the course i mean dead persons they uh, this material from the dead persons dummies but removed the cells they paid the dead person's cell removed and then with this that means no allergic no no foreign body reaction so remove the tumor and uh, insert this one uh, remove the tumor i clipped here and the medial lateral lower uh, high su superior and then uh, insert the suture to the parenchyme and then this is actually lymphoma the i mean the central node removed the area and the uh, suture like this then we are almost uh, the sky is very beautiful and uh, recently so even the this uh, relatively large tumors and the, after remove the lymph node the uh, the we can use this um, for example new pattern new figure of the adm palette a previous one is just lack of sheet but this is a palace right? so easily the insert the this palette into the cavity easily molding easily molding shape molding then much more beautiful like almost the same curve uh, this x-ray so the even small near the nipple uh, and then this cavity also curve the the uh, with this palette is uh, filled like this one is almost looks like a benign surgery much more beautiful so that means the recently to remove the tumor is uh, important but the cosmetic effect much also also very important because victim breast cancer is almost a woman the we have to consider with the woman's psychology uh recently we do also this is a letter to big uh, tumor but we in this case we treated the patient with a new husband chemotherapy that means before surgery we in this size breast cancer we we cannot do a breast conserving surgery because it's almost or the breast uh involved with cancer breast cancer so in this limp actually limp so before surgery we treat the patient with a chemotherapy usually the six cycles every three weeks we treat the patient with a chemotherapeutic agent and then and then for example this is a very uh, three times chemotherapy we uh, after uh, i mean the uh, every three weeks three times that mean nine you know, weeks uh, later becomes like this much a good effect it's uh, almost disappeared the total the breast cancer shadow but three times more i mean every three times every three weeks the treated the patient is um, then I mean nine weeks later then almost uh, disappeared then we can uh, confirm the nidus here and remove the around the nidus and then confirm the periphery and then the breast uh, shape 
will be conserved. So this patient's quality of life is much improved. It's a kind of a miracle, miracle treatment effect. And sometimes diffuse multifocal, multi-centric breast cancer, then according to textbook, simple total mastectomy, the textbook recommend. But I thought, well, if the nipple and the skin is normal, then totally remove or remove the brain, breast tissue with this incision. Uh, so I mean the inframammary incision or uh, the, the bridge line incision. And this is actually totally remove the breast and then insert, implant. So like this. So it's very, very good shape. It's a bridge, okay. So listen to I do also like this. This is a both side, on both side, multicentric breast cancer, multicentric. So he visited me and I told her, you are both side breast cancer. At that time, she surprised at the result. She wanted to make a commit, commit suicide. But I, I told her, don't worry. I'll make you the almost the same breast, but no, you cannot uh, breastfeeding. So I persuade the, this patient and uh, this patient husband, they accepted. So I did like this operation. Both sides, breast total uh, tissue removed. And then, and then like this, it's a out figure is almost same as normal. So like this. In the past, I cannot imagine like this uh, surgical technique. So anyway, like this, the uh, many, the uh, foreign country patients, not only in Asia, Europe, or your country also, uh, visit me uh, and they were treated by me. It's, uh, I think, more than 250 uh, patients they uh, underwent the breast surgery by me. And the, sometimes uh, if implant is they feel the, the, some cold or foreign body sensation, somebody is there with a low uh, abdominal region, including muscle and fat, with this like even technique, yeah, the, their own tissue um, transfer from the lower abdomen to the breast. And this technique is especially the trend. It's a small vessel. Actually, this slide shows relatively uh, bigger diameter, di diameter, but actually we can the, we can do surgery with a microscope uh, like this. It's a small uh, better is the suture than the anastomosis. So anyway, the uh, recently, uh, the for breast cancer patient not only totally remove the breast cancer treatment, um, but also we are considering the reconstruction uh, breasts. Uh, after the uh, the reconstruction breasts, well, actually the uh, Almost 90% is they satisfied, but few percent is uh, dis uh, dissatisfied. But anyway, much improved after improved quality of life after surgery. So that means uh, plastic oncoplastic surgery is uh, not only the only breast cell, but also only plastic, uh, plastic surgery. We have to 
cooperation is necessary. Breast surgeon should be aware of plastic surgical technique and also the plastic surgeon should know the cancer protocol. Uh, breast surgeon and plastic surgeon cooperation for oncoplastic surgery is necessary. Uh, my technique is, um, is um, make a PR, so many news roll, and this one also news roll, this IT Times, and uh, this IT Times. It's uh, in English. We, we Korean is a, we have a Korean character, but uh, to make a PR, the, we, we need the uh, English in general necessary, like this. Hmm? Uh, so I visited many countries. They invite me. So many countries, Italy and uh, Hong Kong and Mongolia and uh, Japan and America and this is uh, Stanford. Uh, this is uh, uh, Taipei and uh, this is Russia. The your country, Arabic, the uh, UAE, is, uh, they visited me and uh, the Kazakhstan and the China and also Vietnam and um, Mongolia and Hungary. I gave a lecture and I did uh, demonstrate demonstrate surgical technique. So I was invited several times to make a keynote lecture or so. so when I visited your country, the, uh, I gave a lecture about how to treat the breast cancer. Already I told you like this, that the, your, uh, my Minister of the Health and the Welfare and the Vice uh, Minister of the Health and the Welfare, and the, um, we all together make a ceremony and um, the national uh, insurance Abdabi Damen, the uh, representative CEO, make a, some contraction between uh, Damen and the uh, are almost cancer center hospital. So with this, there was this many breast cancer patients from your country uh, visit me, and I think almost all they are satisfied continuously visiting now. This year, the actually COVID-19 makes uh, prevent uh, to visit my hospital, but perhaps next year, many the patients and already the un undergone the uh, patient recheck their condition. This is Korean like a sucker, like this. Okay, shukran. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, hello, I am Myung-chul Lim, uh, gynecologic oncologist working for National Cancer Center, Korea. Uh, today's my talk is uh, prevention and treatment of gynecology cancers. Uh, I'd like to talk about three gynecology cancers, cervical endometrial and ovarian cancer for anatomy, location, and etiology, causes, prevention, and treatment. Uh, this is UAE and this is South Korea. Uh, I'd like to start with the incidence of female cancer in both countries. Top five female cancers uh, in UAE is breast cancer, leukemia, colorectal cancer, thyroid cancer, and uterine cancer. Uh, in UAE, cervical cancer screening is recommended from government for women aged over 25 to uh, six to five years every three to five years. Uh, in Korea, 
20 years ago, number one gynecology cancer is cervical cancer, followed by ovarian and endometrial cancer. This year, uh, 2020, number one gynecology cancer is estimated to be endometrial cancer, followed by ovarian and cervical cancer. I'd like to move to the section of the cervical cancer. Uh, this is the bladder, uh, hollow viscous organ uh, that storages urine from the kidney. This is the rectum, uh, the final straight uh, portion of the large intestine of colon. Uh, this is the cervix of the uterus, uh, the lower part of the uh, uterus. The cervix is usually 2 to 3 cm long, roughly uh, cylindrical in shape. The narrow central cervical canal connect the uterine cavity and the vagina. Each year, more than half a million women are diagnosed with cervical cancer, and the cervical cancer result in over 300,000 deaths worldwide. Human papilloma virus are uh, causes of the cervical cancer in most cases, which is largely preventable. Prevention is the organized screening and the HPV vaccination program. Uh, treatment depends on the disease extent at diagnosis and the locally available resources might involve the radical hysterectomy or the chemotherapy radiation or the combination of the both. The conservative fertility preserving surgical procedure have become standard of of care for women uh, with the low risk early stage disease. Advances in radiotherapy technology, such as the intensity modulated radiotherapy, have resulted in less uh, treatment related toxicity for women with locally advanced disease. For women, metastatic or recurrent disease, the overall prognosis remains poor. Uh, nevertheless, the in Cooperation of anti vegf agent, bevacizumab, has been uh, able to extend overall survival beyond 12 months, and uh, immunotherapeutic approach uh, have shown promising results. Through the whole lifespan, the possibility of HPV infection for a woman is about 90%. Uh, fortunately, almost 90% of HPV infection uh, regressed spontaneously. Cervical cancer is the well-known HPV-related cancer, but there are uh, five other types of HPV cancer. Cervical cancer is only one type of HPV cancer with the recommended screening test to detect it uh, at early stage. The other type of HPV cancers may not be detected until invasive cancer. So HPV vaccination could prevent more than 90% of the cancer causes by HPV. From infection of HPV into the cervix of the uterus, uh, it usually takes a few or several years to develop cervical cancer. Therefore, the annual gynecologic examination, including pap smear, is important to prevent early detection of cervical cancer. Uh, this is cervical cancer in MRI. If the cervical cancer is confined to the cervix of the uterus, uh, surgical resection of uterus, including uh, adjacent tissue together, radical hysterectomy, is the choice of treatment. With the advance of surgical technique and instrument, big size of tumor, uh, for example, 5 cm very big tumor in the MRI could be successfully resected with preservation of nerve to the bladder and lectum. If the surgical margin is adequate, post-operative radiotherapy could be omitted. So quality of life definitely uh, improved. The cervical cancer has spread through the, uh, the ligament uh, of the uterus. The radical excision of, uh, with the enough surgical margin is important. In this case, the enough surgical margin has been secured. If uh, metastatic lymph node completely removed, post-operative radiotherapy could be omitted. Uh, this meticulous surgical op approach also preserved the pelvic nerve. Finally, bladder function and lactal function could be preserved without uh, any complication. This 
photo shows the surgical outcome of embryology-based surgery, uh, the named TMMR, total mesometrial resection. After this kind of surgical procedure, surgical radicality in increased while the preserving pelvic nerve uh, with a curative lymph node dissection. Post-operative radiotherapy has been definitely decreased. The treatment outcome improved. The post-operative patient's quality of life, including voiding function, has been definitely improved. Uh, to preserve uh, fertility, uh, to have a chance of the pregnancy, the surgical resection of cervix followed by the suture of the uterus to the vagina uh, could be performed. During early pregnancy, surgical resection of cervix with uh, upper cervical circulation could be performed uh, in selected cases. Let's move to the section of the endometrial cancer. Uh, again, this is bladder and this is the rectum. Uh, the endometrium of the uterus is the inner layer of the uterus. Every year, 380,000 women are diagnosed with endometrial cancer. And the endometrial cancer results in approximately 90,000 uh, 90, deaths worldwide. The overwhelming estrogen, including PCOS, obesity, diabetes, and the genetic factors, including the Lynch syndrome, are causes of the endometrial cancer in most cases. Uh, treatment is basically surgery, including hysterectomy, pelvic lymph node evaluation, uh, post-operative uh, chemotherapy or radiotherapy is the choice of the treatment depending on the post-operative pathologic risk, risk factors. The prevention of endometrial cancer is weight control, weight reduction, and the oral contraceptive, and the exercise. For women with metastatic or the recurrent disease, the overall survivor uh, remain poor. Uh, nevertheless, the incorporation of anti-VEGF or PD-1 and PD-1 L1 inhibitor uh, has been able to delay uh, the recurrences. Uh, from 2009, we have a surgical experiences of a single port laparoscopic surgery, more than 1,000 cases for gynecologic surgery. Uh, more than 10 years, the complication rate was less than 1%, and uh, usually the patients go home post-operative one or two days. Uh, with the introduction of the Lavatic system, the single port surgery has become easier to implement. Uh, with the angulation of the surgical uh, the instrument tip, more complicated surgery becomes successfully performed, including endometrial cancer surgery with the lymph node dissection. Uh, in 1970, uh, the cancer patients died of the cancer disease itself. But now, more than half of the cancer patients died of other diseases, including the cardiovascular disease and the secondary cancer. Non-cancerous mortality, like the cardiovascular disease and the secondary malignancy, is the main cause of death from 1980 for the endometrial cancer from the 1990 the breast cancer from the 2000 for the cervical cancer. Still, ovarian cancer, the 70% uh, of the causes of deaths is the ovarian cancer itself. So uh, management of non-cancerous mortality is important with the improvement of the treatment outcome of cancer itself. There are too many issues on non-cancerous mortality and cancer survivorship which need to be uh, improved. I'd like to move uh, the section of the ovarian cancer. The ovarian cancer is only one cancer to have the initiation of cancer in the peritoneal side. So spread of uh, cancer is very easy, which makes the screening and early detection of ovarian cancer difficult. There are five histology of ovarian cancer, which is related to genetic factor BRCA1 and 2, endometriosis, or the smoking. If the tumor uh, from the ovarian cancer splitsy to the peritoneal cavity, the tumor easily moved to the colon surface, uh, the river surface, diaphragmatic surface, with uh, the producing of ascites. 
Uh, we need to share the characteristics of the ovarian cancer. For uh, ovarian cancer, we, need, we do not have any screening program. More than half of patients diagnosed with peritoneal seeding. Second, the, even the peritoneal seeding, the cytoreductive surgery to minimize the post-operative residual tumor in the peritoneal cavity is the strongest prognostic factor, overwhelming other uh, prognostic factors like the stage performance status. Therefore, uh, it has been well established that uh, survival outcome is quite different according to the institution and surgeon. This makes us the enthusiast gynecology oncologist to focus on development of the surgical skill uh, to minimize the residual tumor. Third, ovarian cancer is the largest tumor developed in the human body. The ovarian cancer uh, uh, also has the largest hereditary uh, the predisposition. This means the familiar member of ovarian cancer could have uh, be protected from associated cancer risk if optimal genetic counseling and test provided. Approximately 10% of ovarian cancer patients have the uh, thrombosis or the embolism in cases of uh, clear cell histology. The incidence increased uh, up to 40%. Uh, number four, the even development in the small o ovarian surface, the causes are quite diverse according to the histology. I want to tell this later in detail. Uh, our previous study suggests that the coexistence of endometriosis is more than seven, uh, 37% in ovarian cancer, uh, specific histology, clear cell, and endometrioid. Considering that uh, these results come from the routine pathologic examination for the cancer diagnosis, uh, without intention of meticulous identification of uh, endometriosis and the destruction of endometriosis by cancer progression. The real instance of coexistence of endometriosis in ovarian cancer is definitely higher than the current finding. The beyond ovarian cancer, breast cancer, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, brain tumor increased in women uh, with endometriosis. Another reason for the ovarian cancer is genetic risk, including BRCA1 and 2 mutation. In Korean, the chance of the germline mutation is similar to that of other ethnics. If two ovarian cancers are diagnosed in a family, the chance of the BRCA mutation is the 60%. If one ovarian cancer and one breast cancer in a family, the chance of the BRCA mutation is about 20 to 30%. Uh, I always show the survival curve to the patients of the ovarian cancer uh, and their family. The small residual tumor with a greater surgical effort result in the low recurrence and the good survival outcome. However, you may experience more short-term post-operative morbidity. The survival differences keeps going uh, to five years later, like the V sign, this meaning the minimizing residual tumor with surgery could increase the chance of cure uh, in ovarian cancer. Dr. Bristow, who established the golden rule in the management of ovarian cancer, minimal residual tumor with maximal cytoreductive surgery is the most prognostic factor, overwhelming other prognostic factors such as age, stage, and performance. Uh, etc. Uh, to remove the all peritoneal disease in the surgical management of the ovarian cancer, whole peritoneal cavity is open. The spleen, pancreas, diaphragm, colon, uh, small bowel, lymph node, the lower pelvic area was evaluated and surgically resected and reconstructed. This is our operation setting. We explore the whole abdominal cavity based on the pattern of the tumor spreading. It depends on the clockwise colonic peristalsis and the respiration. You can see the diaphragmatic tumor, omental, omental cake, the pelvic obliteration of, of the tumor, small bowel mesenteric metastasis. Only issues to make the complete resection difficult is the metastasis of the small bowel mesentery and serosa. I think these patients could get complete resection because the limited involvement of the small bowel 
uh, ovarian cancer spread out so fast, uh, metastasis usually uh, like floating, not deeply invading like uh, other solid tumor. So this make extensive site reductive surgery feasible. All of the visual tumor could be removed, resection of omentum, spleen, total colon, and the uterus, both ovaries and lectum uh, all together. Uh, to the surgical removal of all peritoneal tumor, lots of the surgical procedure are required. If we are trying to do upper abdominal surgical procedure, like the previous cases, about uh, five to seven hours surgery is required uh, because the diverse of surgical procedure. Uh, to minimizing tumor, uh, our multidisciplinary surgical team did and do our best. In December 2015, we published as a, also of the main chapter of surgical text of ovarian cancer, light upper quadrant surgery, including the liver mobilization, uh, diamatic surgery, and the cardiophrenic lymph node dissection. Uh, our surgical team developed new surgical approach, uh, transabdominal cardiophrenic lymph node dissection via uh, resected diaphragm in 2013 for the first time and reported preoperative CT prediction in 2016. After then, there are several following reports from the Mayo Clinic or the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. Uh, I'd like to the uh, the treatment of the ovarian cancer. So the IP, intraperitoneal chemotherapy, offer better chance of the chemotherapeutic agent directly contact to the cancer using the same route and the longer duration and the uh, higher dose. But uh, in real world, the, uh, this intraperitoneal chemotherapy is definitely underused because of the requirement, uh, the frequent uh, hospital visiting, abdominal discomfort, and same insurance reimbursement, even with uh, much more preparation of intraperitoneal chemotherapy, such as the preheating or the intraperitoneal port irrigation. Intraperitoneal chemotherapy allows the ovarian cancer patients to li live more than 10 years. In other words, it increases the cure rate we can have the V sign, which is meaning of the improved uh, survival difference at five uh, and 10 years later. This is the Korean real world result showing the survival benefit of the intraperitoneal chemotherapy. Uh, Preoperatively, I show the survival outcome of intraperitoneal chemotherapy versus intravenous chemotherapy and discuss with the patients. You need to visit frequently three times versus once per every cycle, uh, overcome to abdominal discomfort from distension, and need to have the IP port and your low lip. Most patients have the uh, IP chemotherapy. I'd like to share uh, the treatment outcome with the PD-1 inhibitor, Kitruda. Uh, pembrolizumab. This is these patients have the second recurrences at liver surface. So PD-1 inhibitor Kitruda was provided to the patients. Uh, fortunately, uh, with the treatment of the Kitruda, the tumor in the liver dis disappeared completely. The patient was disease-free one year after treatment with uh, of the Kitruda. Uh, in these patients, no toxicity was identified. The quality of life so good uh, with the treatment. I'd like to talk about the high pack for ovarian cancer patients. After surgical resection of ovarian cancer in peritoneal cavity, hypothermic uh, intraperitoneal chemotherapy could be performed uh, intraoperatively. Because of the higher uh, rate of the recurrence, we need to uh, have a clinical trial in management of ovarian cancer. 2017, June, we presented 
the interim analysis of our randomized trial of HIPEC in primary ovarian cancer at the ASCO, the one of the big uh, conference uh, uh, on oncology meeting. The HIPEC shows uh, some survival benefit in patients received neogibon chemotherapy. Uh, also, 20% of ovarian cancer patients have uh, the BRCA mutation. This is the autosomal dominant trait. So half of the familiar member uh, have the BRCA mutation also. They have increased risk of ovarian, breast, pancreatic, colon, and the prostate cancer. The healthy familiar member could undergo prophylactic preventive surgery, uh, remove ovary and tube. From our previous study, the rate of the uptake risk reducing salpingo-ophorectomy is 53%. Uh, opening of Angelina Jolie's uh, surgery to the public has greatly impact on the uh, uptake rate. Through the belly button, the be uh, through the single belly button incision, surgical resection of both ovaries and tubes could be performed. Uh, the total operation time from skin to skin is about just uh, 10 to 20 minutes with, with the better cosmetic result compared to the conventional surgery. With this preventive surgery, almost 95% of ovarian cancer could be prevented and uh, almost 50% of breast cancer could be reduced. Uh, this is my conclusion. Uh, for the management of the cervical, endometrial, and ovarian cancer, a functional approach, uh, minimally invasive, and fertility preserving surgery and nerve surgery is the available in early stage cancer. Extensive tumor resection is very important in ovarian cancer. And intraperitoneal chemotherapy uh, with the heat high pack improve the treatment outcome in selected ovarian cancer patients. Targeted therapy and immunotherapy offer less toxic treatment strategy uh, delaying recurrences. I hope this is helpful to everyone. Thank you so much.